Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news to discuss involving Kyan Anthony. We all know the son of the legendary Carmelo Anthony, one of the greatest basketball players in the history of the game of basketball, one of the 75 best players ever in the NBA. We must get into it. Um, but nonetheless, Kyan Anthony will visit. Rutgers, you know, it has been a lot of speculation because obviously the Syracuse connection with Carmelo Anthony, everybody believes that Syracuse is just an alley-oop, but um, there's other schools um, that are circulating that I, I believe could, you know, jump in and be in the mix. You know, these kids nowadays, they want to keep their options open and Kyan Anthony is going to be, you know, no other, no other player. And I want to point out that he is um, the ranked the top high school prospect in New York. Um, this guy right here is killing it, you know, um, for LIU. Uh, I definitely want to get into um, him. And this guy, Anthony, is a four-star prospect. You know, he's ranked number 28th overall player in the 2025 class. He's listed as 6'5", 185 pounds, going into his senior season at Long Island Lutheran High School. You know, shout out to Long Island. We all know what's going on with Kyan Anthony. You know, I'm um, doing big things. But Rutgers, if you start to think about Rutgers, you start to, you know, think about what's going on with Ace Bailey. You know, we all know Ace Bailey is just a monster. Um, this guy, obviously, Cooper Flag is like, you know, it's, it's on, I don't want to say it's with the grit, part of me with the whole situation with um, Wimbenyama, but it's something like that. Uh, this guy, Cooper Flagg, is just getting all of the media attention. You forget that Ace Bailey is the second top prospect here. You know, and when you think of Ace Bailey, you think of Rutgers, you think of Buckets. And um, that's something that I want to point out, that Cayenne is visiting, you know, Rutgers, you know, where Ace Bailey will be taking the helm, man. This guy, if you've been living under a rock, ladies and gentlemen, this guy, Ace Bailey, is six foot eight. Um, this guy has elite athleticism. You know, yes. um, this guy impacts the game on both ends of the floor. He's a creative shot maker. You know, this guy right here is looking to point, put up buckets all by himself. He's like an like ISO master. You know, uh, we're going to get into it. It's flight sports. If you want more Ace Bailey, Kyan Anthony news, make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. Listen, I got the chief in the building. Chief, yes, sir. what's your thoughts on this situation with Kyan Anthony, uh, the son of Mello? Um, you know, he's he, he, they growing up now. You hey, know, man. We, yeah, we've seen him as kids. Hey. Now they're going to college. They're on hey. their way to the league. What's your thoughts on him going to Rutgers, this whole situation? Uh, what, what's happening? He's one of the he's one of the princes, man. It is what it is. Just as they as just, just as the ones before him. He's he, the one the, the son of the NBA, the sons of the NBA players. They're coming through now of this generation. You know, Killian is one of them. We, and we've watching, we, and we've been watching him for a long time. We've been watching him for a few years, like, you know, it, he went viral when he cooked. <laughs> when he cooked Carmelo in front of Lala. And, you know, and Lala was laughing. <laughs> and Carmelo went on, on, on pause and said, I, I kind of let him do it. You know, it, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, Keenan said, well, you was, you was nice in your day, but, you know, this other, you know, so there's a little trash talk between father and son. I'm enjoying it, man. The journey flight is always – I the thing that I wanted, I'm just, hey, I'm going to get on my soapbox for a minute flight. You know, let these players journey. Don't make them instant goats yet. Let them develop. Let them get their personality. Let them develop. Don't tag them as a go or bust yet. Let them grow, man, and let us enjoy them improving their games and everything. This thing with um, huh, with Ace Bailey, I'm looking forward to that matchup. This is what it, these matchups here now for like will form if they make it, if or when they make it. These are the beginnings of rivalries that will stretch for generations, bro, that'll stretch into college or overseas, depending on where they go. And into the NBA, they would be talking about these things as NBA players. And you've heard them say on the AAU circuit, yeah, we was on the same AAU team together or we played against each other in high school, blah, 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 blah. So this is where it starts right here. Like the journey is right here and it starts 
and, and all the narratives, all the stuff starts right here. It's an exciting time for for basketball. All the talent, especially in this class right here, these next two classes, it's 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 a lot for hoopers, man. A hoopers, uh, hoop heaven, bro. That's what it is. Yeah, it seems like you know we get into that next you know crop of talent. You know, um, these guys are coming in. Uh, what do you think? How do you see the game? You know, looking after the the LeBrons, the Currys, are we in good hands? You know, oh. with, with this youth movement coming in the league, you got the Boozer twins, <laughs> you got Killian Anthony, you got Ace Bailey, of course, Cooper Flag is the is the one that's talked about a lot. You know, Sion James also, I, from what I think he's going to Duke, he's also going to be there with Cooper, right? You got Elias. You got uh, Elijah Arenas, Gilbert's son, killing it. You know, hey, now, if I'm going to mention somebody, you got Bronny James, too, now. Hey, you got Bronny, too. Uh, hey, there's, I'm not Bronny. You got Bryce. Bryce James. You know, Bryce is in the mix, too, now. His game, he's taller. He he, he doesn't seem like he has the, the, the athleticism, but he has the he that, that cerebral part of the game. Bryce looked like he got that. More so, his brother may have more of the athleticism, but Bryce seems like he he has he has more of that he plays he he plays he he going to the post he plays like his father, Bryce does. So I'm looking forward to all of it and all the other talent too, man. Is is it the NBA being great hands and they begin to shape the narration right now, for like to make sure it's in good hands. That's why Cooper Flag is being hyped the way he is, you know, and other players, you know, and uh, and the youth and the youth of the NBA along with this youth together. That's gonna be the package, bro. That right there. Uh, yeah, man. This is this. You absolutely right, man. This is um, completely um, unbelievable. You know what's going on. I can't wait till Cayenne get in the game. You know because I know he's gonna make an impact. I think he's um, he's born to be a professional scorer. Yes. You know, obviously, you know Carmelo's told him all of the jabs, all of the movements. You know, yes. and you see it. You know. Yes. And, when he when you see him playing, he's the kid's got talent. Now my only question with him is, you know, getting in the weight room. You know, if you know Carmelo, he was a bull. You know, at the end of the day, we can't compare Bronny, Cayenne to Carmelo, LeBron. Don't you agree with that? No, you can't compare them. No, and that's the thing. And that's the thing, even with Bronny, right? Don't put don't attach LeBron's legacy to LeBron Jr.'s legacy. Bronny has to carve out his lane, right? And we have to accept whatever that is, flight. Bronny, to expect him to be a goat like his father, that's not that's not fair to Bronny. Or to same with Killian. You know, let them play. That's what I'm saying. Let them play Ka their Kayan. game. Kayan, I'm sorry. Kayan, let them play their game. If their game matches their father or if it passes them, like Steph passed Dell, you know what I'm saying? Then that's a good thing. But don't put that on them. Don't put that on them, man. Don't put that on them. Let them play their game and let them carve out their lane. That's why Bronny's calling himself Bronny and not LeBron Jr. He wants to play, but he wants to do it his way, you know, and I'm good with it. Yeah, no, well, listen, man, same here, man. Listen, if you want more news on these prospects, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. We bring in an array of content. If you want to know where to find the chief, where can they find you, chief? Try sports media, baby. Yeah, what the man said is flights.